Like most of us, John Nolan's life has been a series of steps toward where he is today. I think about this an awful lot, you know, and I, you know, if you had asked me then what I was, I would have said I'm an architect. You know, I wouldn't have said I'm a father, or I wouldn't have said I'm a husband. I would have said I'm an architect. You know, I, that was, it was so ingrained in me and so, so much a part of me. When I was a little kid, I used to like to, to be the first person to a newly fallen field of snow. I, you know, I, I'd like to be the first person to go walk across a newly fallen field of snow. And, and when I would, when I draw, when you draw a room, you're the first person in the room. You know, before anybody pounds a nail or puts down a board or does anything, when, you, when I draw a room, I'm the first person in that room. John helped conceive and build more than a dozen omni-theaters across the United States. By all accounts, he was successful, but he says when you get to a certain level, the job becomes something entirely different. I started having a lot of physical problems. Um, uh, my stomach started aching a lot. That was what, how it manifested itself. Uh, and they could find nothing physically wrong with me. Um, eventually, uh, they gave up. They threw up their hands and they said, it's not physical, it's mental. In retrospect, John sees now that it was the stress of doing the job that was getting to him. But at the time, a doctor suggested he had ADHD. And for ADHD, they gave me a drug called Adderall. And, and Adderall, I fell in love with. I did, and, and it, I always take you know complete responsibility for everything. And I abused Adderall. Eventually, my wife noticed that this isn't. I was weird. I was getting weird. Um, Things weren't well, um, and she got a hold of the psychiatrist. The psychiatrist called me in, and we had a stormy session. Quick but stormy. She said that you're abusing it. Cut me off. Um, As a substitute to the Adderall, John found cocaine, but it wasn't long after that that he was arrested, cratering his career as an architect. And eventually went to rehab three times. I learned that rehab doesn't work if you're not ready for it. John and his wife soon split up. That step led to years of sleeping on friends' couches before he finally found himself without a home entirely. He made his way to St. Stephen's Human Services and the Salvation Army. After 525 days there, he stepped through the doors of Ebenezer Towers in downtown Minneapolis. He moved into his apartment on the 19th floor with just a blow-up mattress, and the box. It you know, I, I, I started thinking a lot about what home is while I was homeless. I mean, you know, some people, while I was at the Salvation Army, some people would just have a, photo, a torn photograph and that was home for them, you know. So home has got a lot of a broad range of meaning to people. I mean, you know, furniture really, really, really makes a place. It really does. So. So John was referred to bridging, and he began taking those steps back to his new normal, a new life. Oh, it made it livable. I mean, it, it really did. I mean, it was, it was not livable while, you know, it was an air mattress. It, it, you know, and, and I could have piecemealed stuff together probably, but, you know, but it was, <laughs> I mean, that was great. Plus transportation. I mean, trying to get stuff there would have been impossible. You know, that was one of the greatest things is it was it all came you know it was totally different plus I had you know, knives forks and spoons and plates yeah. he began to reconcile with his wife he began to rebuild his relationship with his daughter though there's no one reason for a person to be who they are life is a series of steps that lead us to where and who we become you know, if I didn't have that, they, they would have never come over and they would have never stayed the evening and had dinner with me and things like that. So it was a place that I could be a host to, and, you know, and I could be normal in and I could show them that I could be a normal person. <laughs>